All right. Hi, everyone. This is Henesis Disla from Arm Hug, and I'm here today with another guest. This is Charles Giblin from ASAP Healthcare, and I'm so excited to introduce this connection that I made on LinkedIn a few months back because they're going to show us an innovative approach of how to look at your tourniquets. So, Charles, I think you have a sample for us here, if you can share. Okay, can you see that? Perfect, yes. Obviously, this is a box version of the product. And this is the tourniquet itself. I'm demonstrating it like this because that's important because I'm yeah. not touching the other tourniquet, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And this, if you can see this quite clearly, is it's actually a plasticized paper tourniquet. This was invented by two young doctors uh, as junior doctors at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital in London. Right, and that's where you guys are located, right? Well, we're actually located, we did have an office in London, but we're now located in Liverpool, which is Northwest London. Everyone knows Liverpool, I'm sure. Um, and we're based there because we have our little offices there and um, that's where all our products are kept. Uh, we actually manufacture all our products in the UK, which is uh, good news for us at the moment. And um, I've just been to Medica in Dusseldorf, and of course, people want products manufactured in the UK and manufactured in the States, you know, and um, because we've got very good names for quality, and that's important. There's a lot of regulations now because of Europe and things like that. We have to have uh, MDR, you know, uh, CE marketing, and also FDA approval as well, which is what we have. So this is the product. It doesn't look, didn't look anything like this when I first came to the company. I've been in this business a long, long time. Worked with very big businesses like Welsh Island, which are uh, Swiss Industries, uh, Vigon, which is a French company, and um, now with ASAP Healthcare. So I've got a lot of experience in the business, and uh, they came to me and asked, uh, "We've got this idea." but we don't know how to sell it. I can do the selling and we are selling it, which is good news. And, uh, but of course, when I uh, first saw the product, it wasn't anything like this. And, uh, it was yeah. just an idea. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, as a what, as when it was uh, the yeah. initial. Like what did it look like? Maybe not so much what did it look like, but how did it come about? Well, obviously, uh, being junior doctors, the uh, and I can get you an interview with one of the guys who uh, is now a plastic surgeon. So uh, it's going to be a big favour for me at some stage in my life when because uh, of the success of this company. And uh, obviously, they're in a situation where they're using fabric tourniquets. Yeah, uh, everyone uses fabric tourniquets with a right, buckle. Right, do. And you use the fabric tourniquet and you put it in your pocket and then you go to the next patient and then again you go to the next patient and you keep using it until you look at it and think maybe I should get a new one two years down the road. So they thought, what about a truly single use tourniquet? And this is what they developed. Initially, it was a paper tourniquet. Wow. All right. And that's, that was the idea behind it with an adhesive layer. Okay, so, and it works on a basis of uh, adhesion uh, to itself. And what I did with it is I made it look a bit more glossy. This is plasticized paper. So it's got a, it's got three layers. So it's got paper, there. there's a layer of adhesive and a glassine layer. So it makes it look all glossy and nice. Didn't look anything like this. Of course, we looked at the design and everything. And of course, with the tourniquet as well, if you, make it in orange, people can see it. Right. You don't want this left or any tourniquet left on a patient's arm. Uh, you know, when because I, I do know of circumstances where that has happened with uh, other products. Um, so if you get something like this, which is glossy and people can see it clearly, um, it is very helpful. So all I did is I looked at this product, I said, I've got to make it look better. And all the boxes we do, very neat, that's for 50. Um, 200. Great. Uh, even, you know, shrink wrap all the boxes because obviously, you know, it makes them look great and, uh, and clean as well. And it's important. Um, and what's here, the feedback from a lot of your clients 
What are they saying yeah. about it? Well, obviously, in the pandemic, of course, this is what you need because it's truly single use. You use it once, you can't use it again. Um, you know, we have a situation whereby it is manufactured in the UK and it does cost a lot of money to make things in the UK. Um, this is not, we don't sell this product on price. We never win any business on price at all. It's all on the features and benefits. And the feature of this product is the fact that it is truly single use. And at the moment there is a pandemic. Use this once, you can't use it again. Um, if you have a box like this, where I had the finger tap and I pulled it through, I'm not touching the next tourniquet. Mm -hmm. If you have a product like this um, as well, it is two-handed placement. I know that fabric tourniquets uh, are one-handed, but rubber bands are uh, two-handed placement. And this is single-handed release as well. So that when you put it on the arm with the adhesive, you can adjust the adhesive to make it tighter if you want to. If you did that with a rubber band, you've got to really make sure that it, it is just right at the right time. You can obviously adjust the rubber band, uh, but this is easier to do when you've got an adhesive. I'll show you the adhesive. It's peel here, all the demonstrations there, peel here and all the instructions for you. Yeah, can you see that? Perfect, yeah. So all we do is we make sure that it, it's as simple as possible. So there's the adhesive layer. And it's even got a little indication to say which way it goes in. So we do everything we can to, um, to help the user. Um, then of course, it's actually easier to do on someone, but I, there's no one here to do it with. But, and then I put the, stick it to the adhesive layer like that. And then if I want to, I can adjust it and then reapply it and tighten it. And then you're holding the needle and it's single-handed release, which is important, which is the same as a fabric tourniquet, yeah? So what I did actually, this is not just phlebotomy, this is um, you know, used for cannulation as well. And I took this product to an organization in the UK called Aseptic No Touch Technique, which is best practice in IV cannulation. And they like the fact that it's truly single use, of course, which is the main thing, the fact that you're not touching the next tourniquet and you're not touching the patient's skin when you apply it. You don't need to touch the patient's skin at all. And when you release it, you don't touch the patient's skin because you've got a little tab there, which you just pull it away from the skin. Yeah. That's great. I had, so that's important. And ANTT is actually quite, a powerful organization in uh, in the UK and um, best practice in IV cannulation is important. They are the only ones who have this evaluation and um, no one else has that. Um, and you have these for kids too, I think, right? For kids as well, yeah. So what I looked at was looked, for, looked at the situation with kids and we looked at um, distraction therapy. So I came up with this idea. And this is Tony Kids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what we did, and we have, if anyone looks on our website, they can see we have a little kitty there who actually had blood taken the day before. With the, and you see him with the nurse, and he's totally distracted by the fact he can actually choose a snake okay. or an elephant. So there's your elephant, Ellie elephant, and there's Sammy snake. So we've even given them names as well. That's great. That reminds me of the band aids. Band aids. Yeah like colored and designed exactly when you go you know even i remember going to the dentist and uh, they used to give you a sticker to say well, you're brave and so you know they'll choose this one and then you might get that one as a little freebie from the uh from the phlebotomist or the or the iv nurse so that's what we do it's that's that's the sort of thing it's glossy can you see how lovely that is you yeah. can print anything on this it doesn't have to be sammy and Ellie, but anything anywhere I go, I'm always taking Sammy and Ellie with me, and and these are the ones. And any any of our stands, we have Sammy and Ellie because it's different. It is and for us. It makes uh, you know people are interested in you know what this is. This again is truly single use. It works in exactly the same way, and uh, it's an attractive little product to distract the child. And, uh, and and that's important because anxiety with children costs a lot of money in hospitals nowadays. 
and you know things like vaccinations and things like that you know they want to make sure that people can go in and be comfortable about that and it's not just the children it's the parents you know i'm a parent of four children and i know exactly what it's like uh, taking a child to the hospital um so anything like this is handy um Definitely. so, so that's our clinic version um what we've done now is we looked at the situation with the pandemic so i've come up with this product here which is just a and of course it's eco-friendly you're not using boxes all the time uh we have a if i can show you this we have a refill yeah which goes in there this is going down very well for us at the moment because of the situation with the pandemic. You want to make sure you know where your products are. So you can tie this to a trolley here, or also there's a little fix here for wall mounts as well. Wow. And there's a very, there's, the Christie's Hospital in Manchester is a famous cancer hospital worldwide. If you anyone went there, you'd see these on the trolleys and you'll see them on the walls. And it's important. Again, it comes out singly and you know exactly where the products are. You don't want them going wandering off into different... I've been in infection control for a number of years now, about 15 years. I understand what people want and they need to know where it is. Again, it's in orange, so you can see it quite clearly, yeah? Um, so this is my little, another one of my little ideas. And that's all I do is I just think, how can we promote uh, infection control, yeah? and uh, infection control procedures. Let's try and reduce uh, cross-infection. Um, and, and that's the idea behind a product like this. It's one-time use. You know where the product is. And, um, and it's very, very successful for us because of things like this. Yeah, easy to carry. Uh, so, and of course, from a company point of view, we can print anything. This is for a uh, hospital group. Wow. In the Middle East, it's beautiful. And this is a very big phlebotomy company, Sarstead. Um, they're probably the, one of the biggest phlebotomy companies in the world. So we can produce things like that. So we can brand the products as well. Um, there is one other product then, again, we looked at the situation whereby uh, fabric tourniquets, are, they're still in use in the UK uh, and in Europe and most of the world. So we produced a product called Tourney Stretch. Nice, and yeah, I remember these. And the idea behind that. Would you say these are more affordable, easier to use? Just trying to compare them to what we already use. Well, if you're if it's a situation with rubber bands uh, in the in the states, you've got uh, you you know you the market is huge, and uh, there's a lot of um, this is never going to compete with a rubber band because they're produced on mass. Um, there's no branding on them. I think it's just comes as a, what colour do you want? I'll have an orange one, I'll have a blue one, or I'll have a green one. And someone might put a different box out for someone. Um, but, you know, this is all made in the UK. And uh, compared to a rubber band, this is not going to be on the same price uh, level um, because they're not mass produced. It takes a while to, we, you, we can't actually manufacture millions of these a day. You could probably just do that quite easily, I'd imagine, with, a, uh, with rubber bands. So, but rubber bands are not, what they, uh, we offer is a product which is not gonna pinch the skin, is easy to tie, it's easy to remove, you're not touching the skin and, you know, I have seen in the in the UK people putting rubber bands on clothing, and um, because it's so painful, and I've seen the way they knot it, and that's not good. Uh, uh, whether I'm allowed to say things like this, um, and you know, if you've knotted it, then you've got to take scissors to it and cut it off. Wow, which is not, no, it's not really, it's a no-no, really. Um, and of course, if you're pinching the skin and you damage the skin, um, it's not good for the patients. And, um, and 
a rubber band is something that um, we see everywhere. Um, it's going to be a fabric tourniquet or it's going to be a rubber band in general. Um, but price wise, these are going to be a lot more expensive. I'd love to be able to make them uh, less expensive, but uh, as the numbers grow up, we can probably do that. But we never, this is not sold on price. This is sold on features and benefits to the patients and the patients only, yeah. Um, this product we brought out, this is called Tournish Stretch. And I have shown this to, um, this actually is the only one of the, can't think of any, but I think it's probably one other product on the market you can actually put on with one hand. And uh, this is designed to be a one piece. There's a buckle here. And this is made out of TPE, which is very soft. But these are all latex free, of course, yeah. And that uses a buckle here. And um, when you pull back on itself, you can put it on with one hand quite easily and you can adjust it with one hand. This is actually, but again, this is not a cheap product, um, but it's very successful in phlebotomy because they're used to using fabric tourniquets, which they uh, put on with one hand and they adjust with one hand. It doesn't matter how tightly you pull this one, it's very super soft on the skin. And, and you know, it's patient comfort, isn't it? And, um, and that's what they're looking for, and ease of use as well. This actually is, as a product, is picking up for us quite dramatically. Um, and, and, but again, it's not a cheap product. This is uh, a product which we manufacture in the UK, and, uh, and it's expensive, but it's extreme. I reckon this is probably the best single-use tourniquet in, on the market today. Um, because it's one-handed placement, yeah. Very cool. Uh, I think that that was a great introduction to what you guys are doing. I'll definitely put all the information below our video so that people can contact you if they're interested in learning more, maybe getting a sample just to see if it might be of interest or just to kind of check it out. I think that new products that are going to be making it easier for blood draws to be administered at home or in the clinic are, are going to be skyrocketing. So I think that what you're doing is really important. So I can't thank you enough for taking the time out today to meet with me and talk okay. a little bit about what you guys are doing. Really well, well, what we've done, uh, Hennesis, is we've um, actually got a distributor now based in Miami. And we're going to try and uh, move all our stuff, to, all our products over there because freight charges nowadays are extraordinarily high. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of companies in America that will only buy from products from America itself. So if I've got a base there, then that's great. Hey. Eh? Thank you. Thanks.